Welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another tutorial on Groove Rider 2, this time on automation. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So let's click on init and create a new pattern and select yes. Okay, so we don't have any clips defined. If we go to edit, it will say no clip selected on this part. So let's stick to uh, clips, double click here to create a clip and double click again to enter the clip editor mode. We click here on the pencil and we create some notes. Something like that, why not? And of course you can, um, you've seen other tutorials so you know how to use these controls. Now you can change the length um, like so, right? I could say quantize the end to quarter for example and the beginning to quarter as well please notice as well that when notes overlap they actually kind of merge right so that's something to keep in mind so if i do like this and i go over right it will remove the other note i have only one left there right so just bear that in mind okay so select all again and we're going to say quantize again like so we have four perfectly notes and let's go back to the select tool so we don't create any more additional notes now let's go back to simple let's uh, make some small alteration like so let's click play and let's activate the clip now it's a really boring sequence of notes now the same notes but the point of this is to show you automation right not to create a, a melody for uh, for the purpose of the tutorial course so how do you go about automation if you click here it says no clip automations well okay let's find some controls you want to change like for example the cutoff if i play That sounds interesting, right? So make sure you are on that clip, right? Okay, and you go to sound. Let's click record and play and move the control. Now you can see as it plays, he's moving the control as well. So it has recorded the automation against that cutoff control. Now, if we go back to the edit, of the clip you can see now it says here clip one automation one click here and you can see layer one filter off and you can delete all the automation as well click on the first one and you can see you have uh, the automation against the filter cut off now here you have a number of controls and um, the first one is the selection tool which of course you can use to select different parts okay and then you can move them as you prefer or you can click and hold and select multiple parts as well you can have the second one which allows you to draw like so automation so you could do something like that right click play it's great and you can have this control here which is like quantize like so you can have perfect steps not in terms of snapping vertically but de definitely snapping horizontally right which is great so you can do things like so and then of course you can use also the eraser here to remove some of the points click and hold and you can also remove multiple points here you have use your thing to cut copy and so on so you could say select all like so and duplicate and it will duplicate that automation and you can use the user controls which we have seen in the previous tutorial when we talked about the clip editor you can apply those controls again to automation so it is it is as simple as that right so really really simple let's go back to clip and then click and hold here and remove that clip now let's go to song mode let's activate that song mode and now let's um, click um, uh, record and play <laughs> So we recorded a simple melody, right? Nice and simple. Let's uh, make some alteration like so perhaps. And so we can now 
delete this part like so we have that particular clip right this is clip and uh, number 17 we have explained how that work of course in the song mode tutorial now we can record again automation against um these as well why not it says here part one no automation okay so um let's go back at the beginning let's go to sound let's click uh, record and play let's click stop as you can see i moved the cutoff and resonance control let's go back to song mode you can see it says here part one automation two you have two automation click here you can go to filter cutoff and you can see it shows you the automation for the filter cutoff and you can click up here and you can select again against that layer one filter Q for the resonance and you have that resonance as well in terms of automation remember here you can change also the overall amplitude right and then of course you can use the same controls here that you've seen on the clip editor regarding automation and you can edit that um, um, the automation uh, curve as you prefer like so you can create some interesting effect nice and simple now you can delete the selected one because we have more than one you can delete them all now if you click on the exit here you exit here you can see there is automation says an a here against part 